You know, sometimes there are certain announcements that need to be made that it's better that everybody hears all at once instead of uh, in shifts. You know that at the recent General Assembly, uh, we elected a couple new leaders. Um, and um, because of the opening uh, of our Nazarene Theological Seminary, I've been asked to become the new president. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see how that plays. <laughs> but the, the importance of this announcement has absolutely nothing to do with me sharing an announcement, but I do want my staff to join me on the platform for this next few minutes. Could my staff just come up here, please? I'll share something with you. These are good people. Well, most of them. Yeah. Get, get away from the mic. <laughs> Here comes Lisa. Well, uh, I brought them up here just so that together we could watch something that we saw not long ago. A few months back, some of our teens experienced uh, a thing that we need to see again today as we uh, kind of just let our staff uh, kind of share with you a thought or two. But just kind of watch this video and then we'll see where we go from there, okay? That was not <laughs> I think that might be it. Wasn't that good? good.
in just a minute. I just wanted, I just wanted a way to get Tom and Janet up here so that we could then turn the show over to Jonathan. Ten years, praise God. <clears throat> uh, Tom, Jana, hopefully by now you figured out that this special presentation is for you guys. <laughs> As the video stated and why I set out over a year ago to try and come up with something to say thank you and we love you. We wanted to do something that would involve the whole church and something that would give rest, relaxation, and make memories for a lifetime. But before we get into that, I'm going to invite Taryn and Stephanie and Rachel to come and say a few words. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> that was for you, Pastor. <laughs> you may have heard the saying that behind every good doctor is a great nurse, and I'd like to say that I believe that is true. But in the case of a married pastor, I believe we could tweak the saying to say, behind every good pastor is an outstanding pastor's wife. This is definitely an accurate statement about the woman before you now. She didn't go to college to pursue a life of full-time ministry, and yet she's picked up the torch and gladly walked along alongside Tom in all of his ministry endeavors. In the 10 years that they've been here, Jana has been a busy lady. When Tom went on a mission trip, Jana went also. When Tom started accountability groups, Jana said, I'll lead a group. When Tom opened the doors of the church, Jana was right behind him. Everywhere Tom went, Jana was sure to be beside him. And when Tom's family grew from two to four, his ministry didn't stop. That's when Jana said, I'll hold down the fort. You go do what needs to be done. Jana, in 10 years' time, you have involved yourself in every ministry, teens, music, and others, gone on trips, mentored young teens, built friendships with many in the church family, and brought into your home two young girls and raised them so beautifully, your greatest ministry of all. You've done so much for us, and we're happy to honor you and your commitment to Westside in this special way. So mine is going to be more of a personal account from Jana over the years. So I can just say on um, many of the times that we have tried to rope Jana into doing things, <laughs> um, <laughs> there she has had a constant... Uh, thought in her mind about um, the mi ministry and um, time frames and I can tell you from a first-hand account that um, Tom in this ministry has always been first um, first and foremost in her heart from the moment um, that we started meeting and praying together that was her first and foremost and then just watching her grow in that um, watching her stand by Tom and go to, like Taryn said, all the different activities, um, some of which I think she were really her thing, and some of them probably not as much her thing, but she was still there and really, really enjoyed, really, really went and was part of it. And then um, some of the, some of the behind the scenes things that maybe we don't see, um, some of the pictures that you Notice Jana was always there, and then and then children happened, right? That's that's that happens, and um, so then Jana is still there, um, but she's there in sometimes a different capacity that that is split. So that is definitely a sacrifice and something that we've seen firsthand from Jana being able to take on that role too. So I can tell you without without a doubt that. Um, this has always been her first and foremost ministry. So we've been really fortunate to have many laughs and um, much fun with Jana with the reminder that, um, come on, guys, we've got youth groups. So, <laughs> so thank you. Two of the people that have greatly impacted my life. Tom and Jana truly seek God's will in all areas of their life. 
They live a life of sacrifice with how they value people with their time, finances, sleep, resources, home, and more. They're a living example of how to live like Christ. Tom and Jana see those who are hurting, broken, impoverished financially, and also impoverished spiritually. They don't just see them passing by and keep going. They see them and stop. They let God break their hearts for those people, and then they act on it. I see this clearly in many ways of how you live your life. One big way that I see this in how you live your life is your passion for foster care and adoption, and how you literally have taken in people and loved on them as your own, and how you have that passion from God, and also the many other things you have done with that outside of the two girls that you have now. When I was in eighth grade, I felt God clearly calling me into ministry during a service at camp. Tom was the first person I told. He celebrated with me in those moments, and he also invited me to join a group that met at 5 o'clock every Wednesday night. That group is ministry apprenticing. With all of Tom's other responsibilities, he faithfully has prioritized teaching those of us in that group about different aspects of ministry. Tom has taught me about ethics in ministry, the importance of prayer in ministry, how to prepare for a sermon, and the pr practical aspects of organization for any service or event. Tom has been a great mentor for me in ministry. I'm going to SMU next year, and I feel very equipped because Tom has made me. Gianna has been my teen accountability group leader since the end of eighth grade. She has been a mentor, friend, and voice of truth. Through our accountability group Bible studies and challenges, I have grown immensely spiritually. Gianna created an atmosphere that was welcoming to us, an atmosphere that was not just welcome to our flawless and perfect Christian selves, but an atmosphere that welcomed our brokenness, the areas we struggled in, our doubts, and the hard questions about our faith that we wrestled with. Then Jana would challenge us on those. We would pray together and for each other and walk alongside each other as a group with Jana's leadership. Our accountability group was so impactful and pivotal to my faith because the Holy Spirit was a part of our group. Jesus was the reason why we had our group, and Jana always prayed for God to be with us as we met. On countless occasions, Jana was the voice of God in our lives. Jana faithfully loved us, encouraged us, and was an example to us. I'm a life that has been changed because of you guys. Thank you, Tom and Jana, for your faithfulness to the Lord and your work at Westside. Thank you, ladies, for that. Very well said. Um, as I stated already, us, as an NYI council, was trying to come up with something that we thought would fit you all. Something that you all would enjoy and use and something that we can involve the whole church in working towards as we look to say thank you. And most of all, we wanted to keep it a secret in doing so. <laughs> I believe we have succeeded in doing that, so thank you, NYI teens and church family, for that accomplishment. NYI and your church family wanted to show you our love and say thank you. Thank you for answering God's call and serving at Westside for the past 10 years. We know that in this day it's uncommon for a youth pastor to remain, to remain at a single church for more than 10 years, especially in the Nazarene family. Tom, I believe you and I were just talking about that the other day. Thank you for investing in lives of people in our community whether it's eating lunch with students at school or meeting with local pastors or striking up random conversations with people at Walmart, you have made a difference. <laughs> Thank you for leading our youth for the past 10 years. Thank you for the lessons and messages, the accountability group leadership, teaching of skills, guiding through situations, mentoring and encouragement that you both display to our teens and our children. Tom, thank you for leading the Kansas City District as president for the past six years and vice president for two years prior to that. Thank you for not just investing in our teens' lives here at Westside, but in teens' lives on the whole district. Your leadership has been steady and a rock to lean on for the Kansas City District and YI. Thank you for investing in our lives as adults here at Westside. Thank you for greeting on Sunday mornings, leading in worship, teaching Sunday school, always listening, always willing, and always being available. Your guys' willingness to serve in any area asked is a huge blessing to our brothers and sisters here at Westside. Thank you for sacrificing hours of sleep, Jana. <laughs> Days apart from each other, weird schedules, jam-packed summers, time off, softball and other recreation, vacations, dates, work hours, since we all know that, Tom, there are weeks that you put in way more than 40 hours, finances, and tons of other things that I don't have time to list. And maybe most of all, Thank you for always praying and loving and seeking God's will. Thank you for your faithfulness and lifting our church family up to God. Your dedication to prayer is vital and is felt by your entire family here at Westside. For all this and more, we look to say thank you and we love you, Tom and Jana. And we, look, and we thank God for allowing you both to be a part of our church family for the past 10 years. 
So back to NYI, trying to come up with something to say we love you and thank you. NYI came up with something after a couple hours of conversation. And after tons of emails, MailChimp sent, lots of planning, messages, text messages, and passing of envelopes, we were able to execute our plan all in secret. With that being said, NYI wanted to start a campaign to raise funds to help you with an international vacation. <laughs> in the near future, hopefully. <laughs> We know that traveling and checking out new places and experiencing new things is something that you both enjoy. I've seen in pictures you both have made tons of memories with us here at Westside. We wanted to afford you the opportunity to help you go abroad and make memories um, of your own. If I can find it. Um, so with us working together, we have collected over uh, $4,400 from your brothers and sisters here to help you with this trip when you fill the time of life. We thank you for your sacrifice and dedication these past 10 years, and we love you both. As I invite Pastor Shore to close us in prayer, there are a couple announcements about tonight. There will be a reception following the evening service in the West Chapel. It is going to be a dessert potluck, so please bring your favorite desserts to share, and drinks will be provided. In trying to keep this a secret, there may be people that, were unable, that we were unable to reach out for one reason or another. With that being said, we will have a card basket set up for Tom and Janet tonight at the dessert potluck. You could also use a card basket to write a personal thank you or share a special memory about them. Pastor Shore. I'm going to ask that Tom and Jana come down and stand right in front of these young people. And if you'd like to kind of squeeze in around them like you always do, you know, I'd like to have a word of prayer for them. Come on, corners, come with me. <laughs> Ten down, 20 more to go. There's 30 is our magic number here. That's right. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's pray. Come join. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you today for this privilege of surprising Tom and Jana. You surprised Westside, Lord, by bringing them here. It was your plan. It was your desire, Lord Jesus, to bring these two people here to open their hearts up and to uh, minister to the lives of many teens. Some have gone and already graduated from high school and are in college, and some are near the graduation of college, Lord. How amazing the opportunity and privilege you have afforded us to walk and journey together. Today, Lord Jesus, we uh, want to thank you for this couple. And we pray, Lord, that you would overflow into their lives, Lord. We pray that you would just bless them, not only as your called servants, but Lord, you'd bless them as a husband and wife. That you would just journey with them through the years and that you would bless them as a mom and dad. And that you would just pour yourself into those little girls' lives through the hearts of these two people. We pray, Lord Jesus, that for every young person that walks through these doors, may they always feel the embrace of this youth group. Of those, Lord Jesus, that have been developed to love. And the Lord Jesus and the leadership of Tom and Janet and this youth team. How grateful we are, Father, to partner together in ministry for the lives of young people around this community. And Lord, right down the street, a brand new high school. We have no idea, Jesus, how you will use us in touching them. But I pray, Lord, that you just keep opening up the mind and the heart of Tom to know, Lord Jesus, what it is you would like us to be as a light unto the world. We love you so much. Thank you, Jesus, for this church and every person, Lord, that participated in making this surprise so grand. Oh, God, bless their travels. Make sure they know how to come back. 
And we thank you, Lord, for your goodness to us in Jesus' name. Amen.